together? Yes, sir. I'm just going to put a little thought here for everybody at the Richwood. Good afternoon, everybody. It's actually Sunday morning here at our church right now. I think it's about uh, 8.37 in the morning. <clears throat> Me and uh, Brother John. Say hello, Brother John. Hey, how y'all? Brother John is here. Hey, Amen. Well, I just want to say, I hope you enjoy this song I'm getting ready to put on here, Sister Janice. The song says, um, God is still good, and I hope you enjoy this. Amen. <laughs> So I want y'all to listen to this song, and I'll be back here in just a few minutes. Welcome back. Hope you all enjoyed that song. God is still good. We uh, heard another church down in um, McQuady, Kentucky, uh, sing that song. Uh, and then we practiced two or three times. And so it's not perfect, but we'll, we'll continue to sing it and get better at it. But uh, the message is God is still good. And, um, <clears throat> uh, you know, again, last year was a terrible year. We made it through that. I know you all had a lot of difficult times, and uh, <clears throat> but we're going to make it through this year as well. Amen. God willing, Lord willing, we're going to make it through. And I just want to say from myself, Brother John, and Brother Gary, we so enjoyed being with you last Amen. week, Sister Monica. Uh, we just had a wonderful time. And I tell you, I got teary-eyed when I first saw everybody through the double doors there when I walked into the front door. And... Uh, it was just a, a, a glad reunion day. That's what the song says, and it was. It truly was a glad reunion day last week when we got to see you guys. And so we're so glad that we got a chance to do that. I just want to give you a couple scriptures here. I'm going to be real short this morning. Just to give you something to think about, Sister Penny. <clears throat> and uh, the Bible said um, in Matthew chapter 22, verse 34, but when the Pharisees had heard that he had put the Sadducees to silence, they were gathered together. Then one of them, 
which was a lawyer, asked him a question, tempting him and saying, Master, which is the great commandment of the law? And then in verse 37, Jesus said unto him, he's going to give him the great commandment right here, Sister Janice. Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. Jesus said, This is the first and great commandment. And then he said this, And the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. What he's saying is, <clears throat> if we'll love the Lord with all of our heart, with all of our soul, with all of our mind, and love our neighbor as ourself, we'll fulfill the, the law and the commandments. Uh, that, that, that's been fulfilled at that point. We went to a, a fellowship meeting um, uh, Friday night. We went to a fellowship meeting. Where's that at, brother? That was uh, Rushville. Rushville. Rushville, Indiana. And it was two and a half hour drive to get up there. It was a long drive and a long drive back. But uh, we had a great time, good fellowship, good preaching, singing. The preacher mentioned something uh, all week, this one preacher that preached that night. He, they're in a revival at their church, and the preacher had been preaching on being above average. And he said this, that, that wasn't his message the night we were there, but he said this, you want to be above average? He said, love people. Just love the Lord and love people. Love, if you have love in your heart, true, authentic, genuine love for the Lord and for your neighbor, then uh, you'll be above average, I promise you. Uh, if, if you turn on the news, Sister Janice, the, the news is filled with hatred, murder, politics, you know, just all, all the bad stuff. And we got to be careful not to fill our minds and our hearts with that stuff. But I just wanted to share that with you, that, <clears throat> that, that, that lawyer came to the Lord and said, what is the great commandment of the law? And Jesus said, simply, here it is right here. There's no mystery behind it, no secret. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. The second is like unto it, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And remember a long time ago, we talked about what a neighbor is at the nursing home there. We, we said a neighbor is anybody that has a need. Obviously, it could be the next door person living next door. It could be the lady down the hallway, Sister Monica. But you know what a neighbor is? A neighbor is anybody that you see that has a need, and then you can help that person. That person becomes your neighbor. And so we want to love the Lord thy God with all of our heart, all of our soul, all of our mind, and love our neighbor as ourself. Amen. And so all I'm saying is if we'll do that this year in 2021, we will have a successful year. We'll have an above average year. We'll, we'll, we'll see some joy uh, in some hearts. We'll see some people get saved by the grace of God. And, and I tell you, the thing is, uh, you'll be content. You'll, you'll have some contentment in your heart, knowing that you love God, knowing that you love your neighbor, and that you wake up wanting to make a difference in somebody's life that day. And, and I know it's difficult for all of us, and uh, li 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 living in this old world, uh, but it won't be long, uh, Sister Penny. We'll be in heaven. Amen. Won't be long. We're going to be in heaven. And uh, Brother John, I, I want to say to you, I, I'm deeply, deeply saddened about your son passing away. I did not know that. <clears throat> and I've been praying for him. I've got him written down in my Bible. And, uh, uh, but uh, I'm, I'm so, so sorry about that. Uh, but, but the good thing is, our, the, the blessed hope is, we're going to be in heaven one day, uh, Brother John, and you'll be able to see that son again. Amen. And so I, I want to close with that. Just, just love the Lord with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and love your neighbor. And we are going to have a great 2021, I promise you. And I hope you enjoyed the message last week, Brother John. I hope you 
uh, really, I mean, I tell you, we, had, we, we were just excited to be there with you all at the Richwood last week and had a wonderful time. And Michelle, I think she's going to get a little device where she can plug up her iPad to the TV and ha have a bigger display uh, for you as we do these videos. So anyway, we're going to close out today. Hope you all have a wonderful day today. And um, we'll, we'll see you next time. Amen.